everybody, it's Ian the Off Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. Today is May 10th, so it's National Shrimp Day. I didn't know that was a thing, so go out there and enjoy a shrimp cocktail. Unless you're allergic to shrimp, then don't do that. Today I'm going to start a new series on my channel using a postage stamps as inspiration for cards and envelopes. I want to make something that coordinates through and through, so I'm going to try really hard <laughs> and create something that has not only the stamp that coordinates with the envelope, but also the envelope that co coordinates with the card inside of it. Uh, a lot of times we get cards, and yes, handmade cards are excellent no matter what form they come in, no matter what envelope they come in, you know, that's not what I'm saying here is important, but it is always really nice to receive a card that has kind of a, a, a flow or an energy or a, a, a um, I guess a theme that uh, coordinates all the way through it. So I try very hard. I, I didn't really used to do this. I would stick a stamp on it and be done with it. But I'm starting to look into it more and think about what the outside of the envelope looks like and coordinate that <coughs> with my stamps. Excuse me. So today what's gonna happen is I have this stamps, or, or these postage stamps, I should say, from the United States Post Office, and my camera's not gonna focus, I don't know. Oh, maybe there it is, there it is. So these are all sports-related stamps, and today I'm gonna be using this baseball stamp to create a card and envelope that all matches together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my iPad, I'm gonna design a card that is baseball themed, and then I'm gonna cut it out on my Cricut, and then we'll put that whole card and envelope together, together. So here's my card and envelope. Uh, I have worked on this here on my iPad um, to create a card. You hit it out of the park. So this is all going to write and then uh, cut that rectangle out. And then I have the front of my envelope and my stamp is gonna go right up here in the, of course, right corner where all stamps go. Uh, so it looks like that this uh, baseball player has hit the ball and it's flying out of the park. Uh, I would have taken y'all along on this journey, but honestly, I'm kind of glad I didn't uh, because as I was creating this, it uh, it took several renditions and there was a lot of editing and I ended up stopping and starting. So uh, I'm glad that I didn't <laughs> film as I put this whole thing together because y'all would have been bored. Let's just face it. Y'all would have been bored watching me put images together, but I combined several images together to create this. So let's go ahead and use the Cricut Maker to draw and cut all this out. Okie dokie, I've cut everything out. Um, I probably should have used a different color pen for this part right here. It says you hit it out of the park. Uh, it is a little hard to see. I used a Cricut um, gold glitter pen for this and if you hold it in the right light you see it. I wanted something that would stand out a little bit. Unfortunately I think I probably should have used maybe the black pen or I, I don't know. Uh, it's not as nice as I would have liked it but it still works and you're still able to read it. It just may not be exactly what I was thinking of when I put this together. Not a big deal though. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna set all this off to the side. I'm gonna take my envelope and I'm gonna go ahead and fold this. It, my Cricut did use the score or it used the scoring tool to uh, put everything together. It is a heavier weight envelope. So I may have to use, I don't think so. I shouldn't have to use any extra postage for this. Um, it doesn't feel like it's um, heavier than what it should be. Uh, I mean, it's heavier than what it should be, but it's not, it's not. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is it doesn't feel heavy enough um, to require that extra postage. Um, but I do need to keep that in mind in case it does come back to me. I need to make sure that I have uh, the right, the more postage if it ends up coming back. I don't think it will. Uh, so the envelope fits together just like so. And I'm going to use some of my, I'm going to use the Tombow Extreme Adhesive. I'm using the Extreme Adhesive because this is an envelope. I really want to make sure that it does stay together. So I'm just going to put a line of adhesive right on the edge here and do the same thing on the other side as well. And I got some inside, but that's the best thing about this extreme adhesive is you just roll it with your fingers and the friction from your fingers 
rolls it away and you don't have to worry about it. So we'll stick that right there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and close this envelope up like so. So now we have the envelope ready to go. And we'll put our card together. This is 110 pound cardstock from Nina. It's the Nina Solar White. And I'll just put this, uh, oh, well that didn't quite cut. What did I do wrong, I wonder? I measured something wrong, uh-oh. All right, well, since I had the chance to redo it, I don't know what in the world happened there. Obviously, it was user, user error. I don't know where my mind was, but obviously it was not um, the correct sizing. I must have accidentally kept it locked whenever I was sizing it. Anyways, so now that looks a whole lot better there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab my dot runner adhesive and add some adhesive onto the back here on this and get it ready to attach to my Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. I believe I already said that, but I'm gonna say it again just in case I forgot earlier. There we go, there's the front of the card. I probably could have you know, done a little more embellishing if I wanted to. I don't have any um, baseball embellishments, but I probably could have cut one out of uh, cr using the Cricut and put it here, or well, there's a baseball right there. I don't know. Anyways, it's not a big deal. It all coordinates though, which I really love. So this card is ready to go into the envelope, which I'm not gonna seal quite yet, because I don't have a recipient for this yet. But anyways, when I'm ready to do that, I'll just seal it up like that. And now what I'm gonna do is grab my baseball postage stamp and I'm gonna put it right in the corner. Just like that. So now whenever my recipient receives this envelope, we have the baseball stamp right there, ready to go. Looks like the baseball player has hit it across the card or the envelope I should say, and then they'll open up the card and there you go. So there we go, a finished card and envelope set ready to go inspired by that postage stamp. I really like how this all turned out and how it all coordinates together. I'm not exactly sure how often I'm gonna get around to this series where I use the postage stamp as inspiration, but I have some more stamps ready to go, which I hope I will be able to get around to doing and uh, this seems like a fun little challenge so maybe if you're in a rut and need some help getting out of that rut and some creative inspiration take inspiration from postage stamps that are currently out on the market there are so many out there with so many great themes and color choices to choose from it's a great way to challenge yourself and think outside your comfort zone so guys let me know down in the comments what you thought about this postage stamp inspired challenge and if you want to see more videos like this i want to hear from you so let me know also guys you can tell me if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up let youtube know and me know how much you like this video and that you want to see more like this and if you're not already hit that button down below that says subscribe subscribe to my youtube channel and get great updates every time i post a new video or go live right here on youtube by clicking that bell icon that sends you notifications every time i upload a video or go live you can also get social with me by using all of my social media links down in the description below i will be Completely honest with you, I've been so incredibly active over on Instagram lately. That seems to be the new Twitter for me. It's weird how all this social media works, but make sure to go check out my social media links listed down below. I hope everybody has a great day, and remember guys, normal's just a setting on the dryer. Bye!